What's up, everybody, and welcome back to A Beer Day with TK. It's a beautiful evening. Actually got nice and cool here in Finley, Ohio. Anderson and I are hanging out in the beer shed, getting ready to check out a new beer. Now, this one is called Baby Shark. It's a Citra Dry Hop IPA by Aslan Beer Company out of Alexandria, Virginia. Now, Anderson picked this up. I'm not a huge IPA dude. I've heard a lot about Aslan Brew, and I heard they're good, but I've never seen their beer. So where'd you find this one, man? You don't want to do the song? Baby shark, dude, dude. Listen, I'm aware. So, I'm aware of the baby shark thing, but my kids are old, so I didn't know that stuff. I'm still back with the Wiggles doing fruit salad, yummy, yummy. You know what I mean? So I didn't know about this. Stuff. I don't know anything about that because that was before social media, or at the, at the dawn of social media, before everything went viral and. So this song is probably the bane of parents' existence, like the the Wiggles were for me. It's the bane of my existence. Years I don't have kids, but I've heard the song multiple times for some stupid reason. I think one of the Phillies had that Baby Shark song as their walk-up music before they batted. Exactly. And they make a big deal, like, ooh, it's a Baby Shark song. And I was like, I don't know that, man. I'm peaced, I'm peaced out with the young kids. Anyways, I picked this up at Rosie's Wine Shop up at Lakewood, Ohio, on the west side of Cleveland. Great little ooh. shop. Awesome shop. Talked about before. My only beef with them is... Stop putting the damn price tag right here. Yeah. That yeah. sucks. It's in the way, especially when it's on the mouthpiece or close to the it. The mouthpiece is worse. However, it's still not great. I bought this beer because I got suckered in by their social media post. <laughs> they post their new beers, new arrivals on, on Instagram. I follow them on Instagram. I saw this and went, I have to buy it because of the damn name. <laughs> and it's all because of their social media. So all those breweries out there, take note on that. Social you definitely media. Need to, Post we need, your new we arrivals need a, every we week. Need a, we need a Wiggles beer. They do all these fruit. They do all these fruit <laughs> sours. There has to be a fruit salad, yummy, yummy. If there's not what, already, what about Teletubbies beer? I'm not going that far back, my brother. No way. No way. Where's Thunder, the, where's, Thundercats beer. I'm in. Where's the Sesame Street beer? There's got to be one. There has to be one already. There's Anyways, one. so Baby Shark. Baby Shark. Like I said, Citra Dry Hopped IPA. I don't know anything 5. about Five percent AB. I've heard them. I mean, I've you seen say some, you've heard them, you say yeah, it's good. Well, I'll tell you this. You know, like it's like Hop Butcher. Um, I actually tried a Hop Butcher beer for the first time when I was down in Atlanta. Mallory and Chew from Imperfectly Me Crafts um, bought one down, and it was phenomenal. Um, I know they're known for their IPAs, but they actually had I can't remember. I think it was called like Poke the Bear or something. It was I think it was like a it was a stout or something. If I'm not mistaken, it was like a maple stout. was absolutely amazing. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it was. Um, I'd love to try some of the Hot Butcher stuff. I know I've seen everybody's getting hookups from Hot Butcher, all these beers, and I was like, damn, am I ugly? What's going on here, brother? <laughs> I can't get none of them. But this is another brewery like this. It's Aslan. I've heard a lot about, but I really haven't seen any of their beers. So thrilled to be able to finally, you know, give one a shot. Now, the artwork is kind of interesting. It's cartoonish, you know, kind of shark thing on here. Which obviously plays little, into little the... little worm on the hook on the side. Yeah, it plays into the, the baby shark theme there. 5.5% um, ABV. Couldn't find much as far as the IBUs, which I thought was odd, on the on the beer apps. I mean, look, I get... If it's a stout, you know, list the IBUs or something, maybe, but I mean, it's an IPA. Yeah, I can't know that, right? Unless it says it on the can somewhere. No, it does it. not. It does not. No. Hey, let's give it a shot. Alexandria, Virginia, you're in the house. Let's see what they got. Ooh, we actually have our own cans, too. We do. I, I can't even butcher the pour. No, now I can knob head it. I know Brian, I know Brian and Beer Snob's looking here and saying, hard pour that, TK. Hard pour it. I can't do it, bro. We don't want to wait 20 minutes for the head to die down. Yeah. No, no. You know what? I mean, I'll say this. I was never a hard pour guy, but I mean, he's not wrong. It does... Um, Release the flavor, as I give it that bouquet and all that stuff. But I half ass hard poured it. I got a small glass, so I ain't going that route today. Um, let's go straight to the. It's pretty cloudy. SRM chart, Brew HQ. I think you need a new SRM chart. There's so much writing on the front and back of that thing. What I need to do is actually get one of these and have it like uh, laminated. Yeah, so that if I spill beer on it, it won't matter. I might take this one to somewhere and make them laminate the old one. Just because it's the OG. I don't want a new one. I want this one, man. This is my <laughs> tried and true SRM chart. I mean, what, what do you think? Three? You know, the, the color is, is, is probably closer to a one, I think. But the clarity... Well, very is, hazy. I mean, obviously. Yeah, the opacity is, is... I mean, you can't see through that at all. No. 
color between pale straw and straw. It's very low on the, the SRM chart. Head, mine dissipated kind of quickly. So was mine. A bit there. I had a bit more head than you. Pour it again. Because I did a little bit of a hard pour. And it, it, it's odd though. Mine dissipated normally. Yours seems to do the island thing. But yeah, it's just islands and more puffy, cloudy, kind of yeah. sticking around. Give it a sniff. Well, you could smell a little bit of it when we first opened it and poured it once again. That was a bit of a like tropical, like, like fruit tropical thing. fruity. Yeah, but it's not a very. It's kind of funny when you go in on it on the nose here. Not a super strong smell. No, but I'm getting some of those those tropical kind of fruits, the grapefruits, the yeah, the the, the typical IPA kind of the fruity side of the IPAs. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and that's kind of it. Um, kind of light, subtle fruitiness. I hope this is very grapefruity just for you. I hate grapefruit with every ounce of my soul. I actually picked up a few beers in Florida, have, and I fear one of them is going to be very grapefruity. Have you ever done a video on that? The Schoenhofer? Yeah. No. We need to do a video on that one. I don't like it, man. I don't like it. <laughs> grapefruit for me is just like a no, bro. There are a few fruits like that and lime. Just I'm not a, I can think of a little bit of lime here and there. I'm not a huge lime fan. Uh, mango tends to be a little cloying. Watermelon? Me. Watermelon, same thing. Now, here's the thing. If it's a natural, watermelon taste is okay. But I think whenever you get watermelon in a beer or anything else, it tends to be Jolly Rancher water. You know, like watermelon. Well, grape. Can... Grape, also not a fan of grape. <laughs> <laughs> All right, maybe there's a number of fruits I don't like. Anyways. All right, let's drink this. Come on, dude. You got anything else on the nose? Yeah. I am getting a little bit of those, like, hoppy notes. Not very strong, but I'm not picking it up on the nose. Now, again, you know my nose isn't great. If it well, well I've got like the giant vacuum nose, so I can smell better than you. Well, I have got allergy problems, and it is summer, so so there is some some like almost that syrupy hop kind of smell hmm, okay. in in the background, but it's hmm. not forward or overpowering. All right. Let's get it. Cheers! Cheers! Body. Relatively light. I'd say probably low end to medium for me. Yeah, but there's a little bit of viscosity to it. Like, it, 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 um, almost like a resinous viscosity, but it's very it's light. Slickness. Like, yeah, yeah. It's I'll subtle. It's subtle, but it's there. It's not slick like. Like an oatmeal stout. It's not viscous like a big dark beer. But it's not clean like a macro. I, I agree with you. It's not like that light cleanness there, that crispness or right, something. Right, There's a little bit of something to it, but I still think the body is kind of and it's, low it, end to medium. Low, low end to medium, medium, medium yeah. but it's got like that, that, that hop resinous yeah, in yeah, the background. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, it's now, a subtle thing. As far as the flavor, I actually kind of quite like this. Not a big IPA guy, self-admittedly. But this um, this does the trick. You pick up, I think you get some of those like tropical fruits, but it's not overpowering. You pick up some of the hops, but it's not hopping your, you know, it's not hopped up so much that it's not enjoyable. Again, you know, like we, we've discussed this before, it, it's not hopped to death to be hopped or so much hops are trying to cover up an off flavor or yeah, like, punch your no, mouth. This is, this it, is it, well made. This is a good beer. It, it, it tastes like hops were purposely used, and the type of hops were purposely used to make the flavors that are in this. Tropical tropical fruits for me, um, I think I, you do pick up kind of like a orangey, clementine, citrusy kind of thing, which I, again, kind of subdued, which is good. Um, maybe the light mango sweetness. I know somewhere it said grapefruit. I'm not really finding no, the grapefruit no, at all. No, no grapefruit. I'm not really. picking up the grape, grapefruit. The other thing I'd say is maybe like a slight pineapple taste to it, which I do quite enjoy. Um, so maybe it's like a little slight like pineapple sweetness is maybe what I'm picking up. As far as the hops, it's not that, you know, we usually do this, it's like piney or tropical. And I tend to dig the piney ones more. Um, this is more of a tropical thing, and I think it works. I think everything in this works. I mean, I think it's a very good beer. And this is from a guy that isn't a hop hound, doesn't love IPAs. Um, this is well put together and a really good beer. So for me, Baby Shark Citra Dry Hopped IPA, 
big thumbs up. And for a beer called Baby Shark, you would expect I, I would expect it to be kind of a citrusy like beer. A big bite to it because of the shark reference. No, I would expect shark, tropical waters. Like you're out. I mean, sharks Ooh. are only in the tropical areas. No, so, no, no, they'd be coming up the St. Lawrence River, brother. They'd be coming up in the New York and these places. Sharks is everywhere. That's global warming. That's right. <laughs> Shut off your TVs. We're not talking about freshwater Burn sharks. Burn your cars. <laughs> so sharks made me think of like tropics, tropical areas, mm. what tropical fruits are, and that, that, that it's right up this like perfect description yeah. here. Like, yeah. I, this again, is, tropical fruits. This is a hell of a good beer. Um, you know, I think I already mentioned the ratings. 3.88 on tap, beer advocate, 405, 90 outstanding. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I would say this is a really good beer. Um, if you are an IPA fan, especially if you dig kind of these um, tropical kind of IPAs, little hazies, whatever, I think this is good, man. I mean, give this a shot. Really excellent beer. Um, for my first beer from Aslan, thrilled. Again, big thumbs up. You know, at like 5.5%, drink a few of these, you'll start doing the baby shark. But uh, maybe you will. I'm still on that fruit salad, yummy, yummy stuff, bro. I, I'd give it a big thumbs up it as still well. Still gives me flashbacks. Hey, hopefully you like the video. If you do, give us a thumbs up. Hit that like button. If you want to see more videos like this, please hit subscribe. Maybe you're a fan of that baby shark stuff. If so, tell me about it down below. What is your most traumatic baby shark experience? <laughs> if you have children, you suffer through these things. You hear them incessantly. It drives you crazy. I'm lucky my kids is old. I don't have to deal with it. But if you had to deal with it, let me know below. Hey, till next time. Cheers. Cheers.